Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another day, another adventure. I'm Dev, these are my adventures, and I'm a flight attendant for a major US domestic carrier. I have gotten requests on what it's like to be a line holder. This month, I have mostly all turns with three trips, one two day and two three days. So November 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, I did three turns, which are eight to fives, basically for flight attendants. I did a turn yesterday <laughs> and <laughs> I did a turn today. This morning I woke up at 3 a.m. to get ready to go to Detroit, Michigan and I was in Detroit for literally like an hour and a half and now I'm home. It's 3.52 in the afternoon. You can see Casey right here in the background and we're gonna decorate the Christmas tree and get things ready in order for Christmas because I will not be here the week of Thanksgiving and then December 1st which is my birthday. Normally the tree goes up after December 1st. We're just gonna put it up early. For those who wanna see what it's like to have a line, well, I just got back probably, I landed at like 2.30 and by the time I got home it was 3. So it's 3.52 now and I can spend my evening with my fiance who's eating chips in the background and do things at home. I had bought this wreath that I thought was a wreath, and it wasn't. I only bought it because it was cheap. No wonder it was so cheap. Welcome back to iPhone quality, folks. The um, real camera is dead. You guys just saw me and Casey decorating the Christmas tree, and it's 8.35, and I'm getting ready to go to bed because I have a turn tomorrow. I'm going to Boston. And then I come right back. So my report time is 8 a.m. So I kind of get to sleep till 6. I just don't really know how Orlando traffic is going to be in the morning. With the tolls and everything. Because I always take tolls to work. And then I drive the regular roads home from work. So I'm just going to make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And pack some chips and salsa to take with me. I got this really cute small... Travel Pro lunchbox from the Travel Pro store. And it's so small, and then it has a um, trolley thing, Velcro, so you can just slip it on your bag. And I love bringing this with me. And it's so nice that I don't have to carry around a huge cooler and a hot logic and 50 meal props. And just make a simple little peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 5.30 in the morning and I'm in the MCO parking lot and today I'm doing a turn to Indianapolis. Um, it's a pretty short turn, four hours, 56 minutes round trip. Of course, that doesn't count boarding into planning and boarding into planning slash claiming. We should be back in Orlando at 12.46, so just right afternoon. Will it happen? I don't know, probably not, never really does. So I'm going to go ahead, grab all my stuff and head to the bus. Hey fam, so it's been some time and I'm home from Indianapolis. I am gonna go run some errands because I need to do some adult things. I am ready to roll. I'm putting my shoes on right now. I need to go put air in my tires. I need to go to Walmart and see if they have Christmas lights. Um, I really want to go to TJ Maxx and see if they have anything for Christmas because I'm bored. I'm at Wawa and the line for air is l so freaking ridiculous. Then again, I did choose to come to the gas station at literally 5.01 p.m. right next to Margaritaville um, Resort and there's, there's literally like eight cars in line. Like this is absolutely insane. So it's ends over here there's a couple cars behind there there's that white car right here and it wraps around behind this tan suburban hey guys welcome back to today my goals today were to mainly get christmas lights and a tree topper and i did that 
But I also got some extra stuff. The last place I went was Target. And at Target, I did get Christmas lights. And I did get a tree topper. Those were each $5. And then I went to like the little dollar section. And I found these trees. And I just think they're so cute. And as you can tell, like with our theme this year, it's um, Dallas Cowboys Christmas. So everything is silver and navy. And these are, I thought these are so cute. And it's really hard to find navy Christmas decorations. So I'm just trying to like, I'm kind of just buying the ones that I did see. But these were each $5 also which I thought was kind of expensive because they are pretty small, but I did it anyways. Went to TJ Maxx and I did not find many things there. I got this really cute Christmas tree and it kind of goes along with everything. I think I'm going to put this in our bedroom, but it's just like a sequence Christmas tree and I just thought it was really cute and kind of went with our theme. When we were at the checkout line, I was looking at all the coffee and I saw this and it's salted caramel coffee, um, buttery caramel and vanilla flavor with a touch of salt. So I really want to try this out for my turn tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to BMI, whatever that is. I don't know what BMI is. So I got coffee. Call me crazy, but I am a sucker for a good smelling candle. And this thing will last me all season. It's so big. But these are my favorite, 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 favorite candles from TJ Maxx. I personally love these so much more than the Bath & Body Works candles. Call me crazy. But I do have a Bath & Body Works candle. It's almost gone. This was Casey's candle and we have burnt out of it just about. It's down to the bones, the bare bones. But this, these are what, normally like $20 or something? And I got this honker for $14.99. And it just, it smells, oh my God. It smells so good. It's the peppermint bark one. I'm obsessed. I am so excited to light this. I burn out of candles so, so, so fast. Got something for me. I just, I walked by this sweater and I thought it was so cute. It's just camo print and it has a little hood on it. It's just a cardigan. This was on clearance for $20. Originally $68. Um, so I couldn't pass up this cute cardigan for me. And then I went to Five Below because I need snacks. We're out of chips and stuff, and I still have two days left of turns. So I got cheese pops, and I think these were like, you know, just like two or three bucks. I don't really remember. And then I also got these. I am obsessed with these. I ate a whole bag of these on Sunday when I did my turn. They're so good. These are like my favorite chip next to cheese it if you want to consider these chips. Good morning everyone. We are in the employee parking lot today. I am doing a turn to Bloomington, Illinois. It is an 8 a.m. show. It's 717, so let's catch the bus and let's go to work. This is a 5.15 hour turn, so it's okay. It's better than yesterday a little bit longer hopefully there's no snow or anything and I should be back here around 3 30 ish um, I got my lunch I got my breakfast I got uh, coffee so I'm the B position today which means I am galley queen back alleys online so let's see if today is better Yes. Folks, I am galley queen today, so I get to set up all the carts. We have a full galley today. Um, I just iced my beer, so I'm gonna get my ice rolling for this. Part. I have a special guest in my galley today. It's Rafi. Again. Again. 26 degrees. We better not get stuck, because I got nothing. I am not prepared. This one looks nice. 
for a day vacation. For a day vacation, yeah, right. Showing them how to set up. All right, we've got our eyes done. Next, we got to stock things and put napkins in the car and waters. This is actually very good the the bathroom. Uh, yeah, because people, well, these handles are, because people actually know how to open those handles. People don't know how to open the other handle. They're like, who? Oh. They're like, what's a lavatory? So you sit over here? I sit next to my door, but yeah, that's where I sit. What are you doing after work today? Um, gym. Huh? The gym. To give some exercise, some, so give, get some papi nunca y papi. What? <laughs> what are you saying? I can't understand you. You know what Jerry Bobby? No. You say, uh, siempre papi. Siempre? Papi. Like nunca. daddy? Yes. Like, are like, you my daddy? Yes. Yes? And then you say, siempre papi, nunca y papi. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Oh, oh I how would. Did you get See you later. So I can do vlog. I'm doing a monthly vlog. This week I have my Philly vlog going up on Sunday, and then I have my Vegas vlog going up. Boarding. Boarding. That means I gotta go. Bye guys. We are home from our turn, and Casey got packages, so he's gonna open them. And this, huh? I didn't go on your turn. I'm home from my turn. Casey's home from Tampa, so he's gonna do a mini haul from his Amazon packages. How cute is my tree with the lights though? And we're watching Kylie on YouTube. She's the MLM girl. Update, we also made the bar cart into a coffee bar cart also. For the third time. As Yeah, for the third time, as you can see over here. Look, it's purple. Purple. I don't know why they bubble wrapped this. So it doesn't leak. No, this is already sealed though. So, show them what you got. Purple. What is it? Purple. Purple what? Call it purple with the bottle. Thing. What is it? Is it a body wash? No, it's hand stuff. Yes, I have a bag of Cheetos here that I bought yesterday and they're almost gone and I have no regrets. Because I came home from work and I turned on Lizzie McGuire like I was 13 all over again. I was probably you, younger than you that. You couldn't turn it on when you were 13. You had to hope it was on. Did not exist back then. Disney Plus Has is existed for two days. Disney Plus is the best thing I've ever, ever prepaid for in my whole life, and it's been two days because I came home and it was like I was a preteen again with Lizzie McGuire on TV, and I was probably eating Cheez Its then or for roll up or something. But I went to Five Below yesterday, as you guys saw. And I got Cheetos and I turned on Lizzie McGuire and it was literally like I was a preteen and it was awesome. So that's what I've been doing with my afternoon because it's 6.56 currently. Casey's making dinner because he's awesome. And I have to kind of go to bed somewhat early because I have to be up at 4, probably 4. 4 10 tomorrow morning because it's my sixth turn this week and i am the seat position so i am in the front of the plane i have a few people who are on my trip today that are working my trip tomorrow which is cool we got our schedules out today and i'm just trying to get rid of the rest of my schedule because i don't care for it and I'd love turns because I love being home to spend time with Casey. I'm going you live as I edit this because I never closed out the vlog. But my last turn that I did on Friday was so much fun. I flew with all of my friends and it, it, really, it really makes a difference when you have such a good crew and like a crew you get along with and a crew that you bond with. And my A is one of my favorite people that I've ever worked with. I've worked with her a few times and she's so sweet and she's so fun and I love her so much. I'm supposed to be on a turn today and I dropped it because I am exhausted and someone picked it up. So I figured it's fine, you know, I needed to have the extra time off to just chill out and recoup because tomorrow Casey and I are going to New York City. 
super early. So, uh, this is what it was like in a week of my life as a line holder that does turns. So I did six turns this week. Will I do it again? No, I will never do six turns again unless I absolutely have to. Um, I think four is my max that I can do. Thought by day five, I was, it was rough. And I also think it t depends on the time that you do your turns. Um, because my last day I got up an extra hour early and I didn't realize it. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Hopefully it gives you some insight on if, you know, moms, dads that want to work an eight to five job and have kids, you can do it with this job. I did it all week. I was home every single day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. New York City vlog starts tomorrow and I will see you guys on my next adventure. Bye guys.